Imagine a world where everyday sounds like chewing or tapping trigger intense anger or anxiety. This is the reality for people with misophonia, a condition characterized by a strong dislike or hatred of specific sounds. These sounds, often referred to as trigger sounds, can range from the mundane to the unexpected. Misophonia is more than just finding a sound annoying. It involves a visceral, often uncontrollable reaction that can significantly disrupt a person's daily life. While the exact cause of misophonia is still under investigation, current research suggests a combination of neurological and psychological factors. One prominent theory is that misophonia involves heightened connectivity between the auditory cortex responsible for processing sound and the limbic system which governs emotional responses. This hyperconnectivity could explain why trigger sounds elicit such strong emotional and physiological reactions in individuals with misophonia. Despite its prevalence, misophonia is often misunderstood and misdiagnosed. Greater awareness and understanding of this complex condition are crucial to improving the lives of those who live with it every day. People with misophonia experience a range of emotional and physical reactions to trigger sounds. These reactions can vary in intensity and duration depending on the individual and the situation. Emotionally, trigger sounds can provoke intense feelings of anger, irritation, disgust, anxiety, or even panic. These emotions can be overwhelming and difficult to control, leading to social isolation, avoidance behaviors, and decreased quality of life. Physically, misophonia can manifest as muscle tension, increased heart rate, rapid breathing, sweating, and even nausea. These physiological responses are similar to those experienced during the fight or flight response, highlighting the body's perception of trigger sounds as a threat. The unpredictable nature of these reactions can be particularly challenging for individuals with misophonia. A seemingly harmless sound, like someone clicking a pen, can instantly transform a calm and collected individual into a bundle of anxiety and frustration. This unpredictability can make it difficult for those without misophonia to understand the severity of the condition. Understanding the full spectrum of misophonia's impact, both emotional and physical, is vital for fostering empathy and providing appropriate support to those affected by this often debilitating condition. Misophonia trigger sounds are as diverse as the individuals who experience them. However, some sounds are more commonly reported than others. These often involve repetitive bodily noises that many people might find mildly annoying, but which evoke intense reactions in those with misophonia. Chewing sounds, particularly loud or open mouth chewing, top the list of common triggers. The smacking of lips, crunching of food, and slurping of liquids can send shivers down the spine of someone with misophonia. Breathing sounds such as sniffling, nose whistling, or loud exhales are another frequent culprit. These sounds can be particularly bothersome when they are persistent or occur in quiet environments where they are amplified. Other common triggers include typing, pen clicking, tapping, drumming, nail clipping, and the rustling of paper or plastic bags. These seemingly innocuous sounds can be incredibly distracting and distressing for individuals with misophonia, interfering with their ability to focus, relax, and engage in daily activities. It's important to note that not everyone with misophonia reacts to the same sounds, and individuals may have unique triggers beyond these common examples. What matters most is recognizing that these are not just pet peeves, but genuine triggers that elicit significant distress. Section 4. Inside the Misophonic Brain, a Scientific Perspective While the exact mechanisms underlying misophonia are still being unraveled, research is shedding light on the neurological underpinnings of this intriguing condition. Studies utilizing brain imaging techniques such as fMRI have revealed distinct patterns of brain activity in individuals with misophonia when exposed to trigger sounds. One consistent finding is heightened activity in the auditory cortex the part of the brain responsible for processing sound. This suggests that the brains of people with misophonia may be hypersensitive to certain auditory stimuli, particularly those in specific frequency ranges. Furthermore, studies have observed increased connectivity between the auditory cortex and the limbic system, the emotional center of the brain. 
This enhanced communication pathway could explain why trigger sounds elicit such intense emotional responses such as anger, anxiety, and disgust in individuals with misophonia. Research also points to the role of the autonomic nervous system, which controls involuntary bodily functions like heart rate and breathing. Exposure to trigger sounds has been shown to activate the sympathetic nervous system responsible for the fight or flight response, leading to the physical symptoms often experienced by those with misophonia. While more research is needed to fully comprehend the complexities of misophonia, these findings provide valuable insights into the biological basis of this condition paving the way for more targeted and effective treatment approaches. Section 5 Real-Life Misophonia Stories from the Front Lines To truly grasp the impact of misophonia, it's essential to hear the stories of those who navigate its challenges daily. Sarah, a young professional, describes her experience with misophonia as living in a constant state of high alert. The sound of her co-worker's gum chewing sends waves of anxiety through her body, making it nearly impossible to concentrate on her work. For John, a retired teacher, mealtimes with his family are a source of dread rather than enjoyment. His wife's lip-smacking and his grandchildren's noisy eating habits trigger intense anger and frustration, leading him to avoid family gatherings altogether. These stories illustrate the profound impact misophonia can have on relationships, social interactions, and overall well-being. Individuals with misophonia often feel isolated and misunderstood, their experiences dismissed as mere annoyance or oversensitivity. The stigma surrounding misophonia can prevent individuals from seeking help or disclosing their condition to others, fearing judgment or disbelief. Sharing real-life experiences is crucial for raising awareness, fostering empathy, and encouraging open conversations about this often invisible condition. By listening to the stories of those living with misophonia, we can begin to understand the very real and debilitating nature of this condition and work towards creating a more inclusive and supportive environment for those affected by it. Section 6. Navigating a World of Noise Coping Strategies for Misophonia Living with misophonia can feel like navigating a minefield of trigger sounds. While there is no one-size-fits-all cure, Various coping strategies can help individuals manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life. One common approach is sound therapy, which involves retraining the brain to respond differently to trigger sounds. This can involve gradually increasing exposure to trigger sounds in a controlled environment, combined with relaxation techniques to reduce anxiety and distress. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, can also be helpful for addressing the negative thought patterns and avoidance behaviors often associated with misophonia. CBT techniques, such as cognitive restructuring and exposure therapy, can empower individuals to challenge their negative thoughts and develop healthier coping mechanisms. In some cases, medications such as antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications may be prescribed to manage the emotional and physiological symptoms of misophonia. However, medication is typically used in conjunction with therapy and other coping strategies. Practical strategies such as using noise-canceling headphones or earplugs can provide temporary relief in triggering situations. Creating a safe space at home or work where individuals can retreat to when feeling overwhelmed can also be helpful. It's important to note that finding the right combination of coping strategies is a highly individualized process. Experimentation, patience, and professional guidance are key to developing an effective management plan tailored to each person's unique needs and triggers. Section 7. Finding Harmony – A Hopeful Outlook for Misophonia Management While misophonia can present significant challenges, it's essential to remember that it is a manageable condition. With increased awareness, research, and support, Individuals with misophonia can lead fulfilling and meaningful lives. Early identification and intervention are crucial for improving long-term outcomes. Seeking professional help from a qualified therapist or audiologist specializing in misophonia is essential for receiving an accurate diagnosis and developing a personalized treatment plan. Support groups and online communities can provide a safe and understanding space for individuals with misophonia to connect with others who share their experiences, exchange coping strategies, and find encouragement. Knowing that they are not alone in their struggles can be incredibly empowering for individuals who often feel isolated by their condition. 
As research into misophonia continues to advance, we can expect to see new and innovative treatment options emerge, offering hope for even more effective management strategies in the future. In the meantime, fostering empathy and understanding among family members, friends, and the wider community is paramount. By educating ourselves about misophonia, we can help break down the stigma surrounding this condition and create a more supportive and inclusive environment for those who live with it every day.